So I'm going to demonstrate some basic uses of Microsoft Word's track changes functionality. There is very similar functionality within Google Docs and also some of the free software, um, Office software programs like OpenOffice. But Microsoft Word is by far the one I use the most. It's by far, I mean, I work based on what my clients use. So if they use Google Drive, I do that. But 90% use Microsoft Word. So to start with, I've um, taken an article from the internet, random. So the first thing I do is I go up here to the word review and I click on that. Then here, track changes. I like to have it set up all markup so you can see every change that's made. So I would start off by capitalizing this word. So I hit delete and I correct it. Now, as you can see, the change that's been made is visible. It's not that I've changed it and the writer, the author won't know what's happened. It's very visible. And wherever there's a change, you'll notice here on the left, there is um, a mark on the left hand side of the page, which can help people to find out where the errors are made. So again, I would correct here, another capitalization. And sometimes I've turned 16, add comma. Most of my buddies were, and you get the idea. I would make changes and every change you make, you can move things, but you need a space there. You can move things around, for instance, you might want to put that there. And you see that slightly different markings, different colors. Um, another really useful feature is up here, the comments feature. If I want to explain why I've moved that text, I would highlight it as such and then click new comments. And then in the right hand sidebar or the left, actually that's not always consistent, there's a space where you can write things like, I moved this because I thought it was more effective here in the text, or I thought it made more sense to put it there, or I might ask questions. I sometimes say, I'm not sure what you mean here. If you mean A, then write it like this. And if you mean B, then write it like this. So it's a way to clarify changes like these, like moving them around that are visible in the text are quite a blunt instrument, whereas the comments functionality is, um, is where you can go into more detail if necessary. Now, when the client gets their work back, they will want to see what changes I've made. So obviously they can visibly see that by these marks on the left hand side of the screen and also the changes and they can see comments. I didn't actually write a comment in there, but that would be where it would be. So they say it's a university assignment. They don't want to hand it in like this. So what they need to do is go up here to accept or reject. And for each change that I've suggested, they either accept or reject it. So this one, let's say the author agrees with me that that should have been capitalized. They hit accept and there it is within the text. And they agree with this capitalization as well. So they hit accept and there we are. But what if they don't agree with that comma? I think there should be a comma there. They think there shouldn't. Now, it's entirely up to my proofreading clients whether they accept or reject the changes I suggest. I only ever make suggestions and it's their work at the end of the day. So let's say they don't want that comma, they hate that comma. They, instead of clicking accept, they click reject and it just moves on to the next change, removing the comma that I'd suggested. And similarly, they don't want that sentence moved to the next paragraph. So they reject that change. And when they've dealt with the comments, they can click on delete and delete all comments in documents. Or you can, if there's an ongoing discussion, you can reply to the comment or you can mark it as resolved. So that is the basics of using track changes in Microsoft Word.